Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use and manage your Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 document library. I'm going to start by accessing my Avaya Aura Conferencing Collaboration Agent. That's what I have on the screen here, and you'll notice that I've already logged in as my account on this Avaya Aura Conferencing server. I also have access from this screen to various components of the conferencing server. I can access the conference itself, my library, which is what I'll be demonstrating, and the reports and recordings as well. So let's get started accessing our library. I'll go ahead and click on the library button there in the My Conference box. This will open up the document management interface for the conferencing server and my account specifically. You'll notice that I have access to documents that I've previously uploaded there, and these are presented to you in three different categories. You have presentations, which are any PowerPoint presentations that you may have uploaded. You also have documents, which would be any Word or text type documents that you may have previously uploaded. And then lastly, you have pictures, which is where any image files that you've previously uploaded would be stored and listed. From this interface, you also have the ability to switch between a list mode, which is the default that you see here, and a thumbnail view of all of your documents. So you'll notice when I switch to the thumbnail view, it does allow me to see at least the first page or the first slide of my document, as well as the image files that I've uploaded. Now, at the bottom of this interface, I have the ability to manage these individual files. I can preview them, I can rename them, and I can delete them. As well, on the right-hand side of that window, I can upload a new file. So if I click Preview, I'll be able to view the pages for my document. If this were a PowerPoint presentation, I would be able to view each of the individual slides of my document as well. Now keep in mind that previewing these documents does not share them with any individuals that you may be uh, that may be in a conference with you. Very briefly, I'm going to just demonstrate uploading a new file. It's a very simple procedure. You click the upload button, then you browse for a supported file type, and you select that file and click OK. It will automatically upload that file from your PC to the conferencing server. The conferencing server will actually convert the file and then you would be able to present that file in any conference as well as you would see it listed here among your other files that you previously uploaded. Now while that file is uploaded, I'm just going to take a moment to share with you the supported file formats and this is from the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 user guide and this is actually the the chapter that talks about managing your library and here you'll notice that there are several document formats that are listed that are supported by the conferencing server. So as long as you upload a document in one of these formats, you will be able to view that file as I was demonstrating in your library. So you'll notice here there are PDF files, uh, Microsoft Word document files, uh, plain text files, and then there are a couple of image formats, JPEG and the PNG format. So any of these files are supported by the conferencing server and you can upload those directly. If you had a file that was in another format that you wanted to upload to the conferencing server, you would first need to convert that file to one of these supported formats before you could upload it. Now everything I've demonstrated for you up to this point has been done without starting a new conference. So I've just accessed my collaboration agent, logged in, and been managing my library without a running conference. However, you have access to this same interface through a running conference. So I'll demonstrate that to you very briefly here. We'll go back to the main page for my collaboration agent. And this time I'll click on the conference button. This will allow me to access my conference. Now, I don't have an audio conference up, but in this release of AAC7, I am able to start a web collaboration session without having a running audio conference. And that's because I'm using Avaya Aura Conferencing Release 7.2 here. So we'll start the web collaboration. Now you'll notice that once that web collaboration session has started, I have the ability to begin sharing. And I can share, of course, my screen and other things, a whiteboard. I can also share documents. However, at the bottom of that screen, I also have access to my library. So potentially, even during a conference, I could access my library and select the Upload button to upload a new document to the server while the conference is in progress. And then I could share that new document without ever interrupting the conference. 
So now if I close my library, what I can do now is go back to the web collaboration session and click on the drop down that says begin sharing. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you is how to share one of these documents that you've previously uploaded. So we'll select document from library from the drop down menu here. This again brings up my library. And you'll notice that there is a share button that appears in the upper right hand corner of that library screen now. So if I wanted to share a document, all I would do is select that document from the list and then I would click the share button. Now what this does is it actually starts a whiteboard of sorts with the document in that whiteboard as the background for it. So in this interface, I can actually use the pen tools or the drawing tools to add annotations or highlight certain parts of that document. Now it is important to remember that any of the annotations you add to this document through this interface while you're sharing it will not be saved to the actual document on the server. However, if you're recording this conference and you're using a Viaora Conferencing 7.2 or higher, you will be able to record the annotations that were added to the document. But again, they will not be stored with the document on the server. That's really all there is to utilizing and managing your Avaya Aura Conferencing 7 document library. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.